I'm all alone at work, and it keeps showing up. Did you see that shadow? I don't I don't know what that was. I've been there a million times. There's no windows up there. And there's no reason for anything like that to exist. Check out the full video. In 1973 in the Isle of Wight, two children stumbled upon a robotic and creepy clown. He stood over six feet tall with a pale, flat face and three fingers on each hand and toes. When asked, are you human? It said no. And when asked, are you a ghost? It replied, well, sort of. Who's in here with me? Did you follow me in? Holy shit. I went to a haunted cave in the middle of the desert, and you won't believe what I found inside. Some people claim that a woman died down in these caves, and now you can hear her voice whispering to you in the dark. Other people have said they've seen skinwalkers roaming around the area. And if you hear rocks banging, it's a sign that Tommy knockers are near and danger is ahead. The paths were narrow, and at one point we heard what sounded like a disembodied voice. But the creepiest thing we found was in a room at the end of the cave. This room was filled with old dolls. People say some of the dolls are haunted. Why do you think people leave them here? This video is a reason why you should always check your closet before you go to sleep. I'm gonna roll the clip right now. Corey. Billy, is that you? Theater, ground zero for spectral visitations and Tombstone. Probably the most notorious places that's ever been in Tombstone was the Birdcage Theater. It opened up on Christmas Day, 1881. It's said that the violent and baldy atmosphere of the place still lingers. Kraut noise and music from the 1880s is often heard coming from the vacant theater. It's not uncommon for the room to fill with cigar smoke or the smell of cheap lilac perfume. Could it be the perfume of the birdcage's most notorious prostitute? A killer named Gold Dollar. It may explain why the theater's owner was nearly strangled during a seance that awakened the deadly spirits of the town too tough to die. I'm Huh? Not a person? No, it's an evil identity. It's evil entity this thing's like wicked looking but i it's a, a, a human form though you gotta wait until you see the video i got it on video it's okay, good. this is like one out of a million things that people will not they'll, they'll think i'm they won't think i'm crazy no more wait until you see this oh my god it's like you should see this thing mike 
Oh my god. Like a gargoyle. It's like a gargoyle, man. And, and it's like 35 feet away. And it, it, it's, it came out of those weeds. You know what I'm talking about? This is America's most haunted house, Corpsewood Manor. Corpsewood Manor was built back in the late 80s, deep in the forests in Georgia, by the couple that lived there. Yeah, they built the entire property by hand and had no electricity, no power, no water, nothing. One half of the couple, Dr. Charles Scudder, was a member of the Church of Satan, and the house was adorned with tons of occult paraphernalia. And apparently they held wild parties out there with lots of LSD and stuff like that, if you know what I mean. But in December 1982, four robbers came to rob the couple, and deep in those woods, they shot and murdered both of them. And now the house is abandoned, left deep in the woods to rot. On my YouTube channel, I just released a documentary where I go to the ruins of Corpse of Manor Ghost Hunt. Just for you. Spirit! Go off the road, it's weird that... Spirit! Sh shadows and spirit! Look at how eerie this is. Will you talk to us tonight? So Get your shot! Hey, get you want me to? Go ahead, I'm running the camera. Alrighty. Daddy's cutting the cake. Did you like the bicycle and stuff you got for your birthday? Oh my god, Tommy, it's gonna start again. Oh, oh god, god damn. And he ain't gotta mess everything it's, up. He's gonna mess this up for come everybody on. now. Come on, sissy. Come on, baby, come on. I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on. It's ridiculous. Hey, I'm sorry, baby. Seems like it's missing everything in four seconds. It's okay, it'll be alright. God, okay, I yeah. wish you had this at Jerry's right. house. Okay, it might it's not be just, anything else, okay? This stuff is starting again. You're right. I'm sorry, sweetie. You okay? Prison. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God, damn! Oh, God! What the hell is going on? Go to the front room. Go to the front room, girls, go! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Miss, yeah. get out of here, come on. Let's go get it. Now, it's been a few weeks and things have escalated. They bought a new camera and are testing it out when they suddenly have an unwelcomed visitor. Whatever it is, ghost, poltergeist or demon, it walks right into their space. You can actually hear the footsteps. Now remember, this was filmed almost 10 years ago and by the looks of the family, the fact that they moved three times, this is all real. Watch. I'm so glad we went and got this camcorder. Is it working good? Yeah, it's working real good. Good deal. You got good good color and everything? Oh, yeah. I like it. Good deal. Might be one of the best investments we ever made, man. We should oh, yeah. We had it in here earlier tonight with all that bullshit that's fucking going on. Yeah, I know. We could have got it on camcorder then. That'd been awesome as shit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, fuck. Uh, about ready to turn and hit the bed? Oh, yeah. I'm ready. It's about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the friggin' morning, probably. God. Look. Listen. What is that, baby? God damn, we ain't going to Oh, shit. Yet. <laughs> God damn it. Let me hold Jerry real quick. Okay. I'll be straight back, man. Okay. I'll see you. From the other room, you can hear Tommy challenging the entity. And the entity doesn't back down. Watch. Tommy? You gonna fuck with somebody? Fuck with me now, goddammit. You ain't nobody. What is... What the fuck? What is that? Tommy! What the what fuck? What the fuck is that, Tommy? Tommy's brother, Jerry, has been convinced that his brother has a real haunting, and they decide to hold a seance to determine who and what it is and try to get rid of it. The next clip is very important because it's stepped up to actual bodily harm. There's banging, temperature changes, furniture is thrown, and a red substance appears out of nowhere onto Leslie's hands. Now, before you call it candle wax, remember, the candles on the table are all white. The rest of the family arrive and all hell breaks loose. Fuck. 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 Fuck.
They set him in the house. Give us a sign, show us who you are. If you're evil, sorry, baby. <laughs> if you're evil, <laughs> oh shit! Fuck, dude. Son of a bitch, Jerry, 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 Jerry. <laughs> hey, God, dude. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Hey, 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 that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's sign it up. That's sign it up, man. That's sign it up. Okay. Just get it. Let's quit. Hey, Leslie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is that? Um, I don't know. This is a new one on me, Jerry. What is it? Like? What's this? Is this? Is this? Is this? Is this? Are you okay?